All right, Shalom Akim. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Harakakudash. And of course, it's on always double honors to our apostles and our elders ever well at Great Millstone. Salutations to all you since your Akim, preaching this word in all truth and in sincerity. So, what we have here is uh, Ukraine accuses Russia of bombing Children's Hospital. Now, Russia, as of right now, is at war with Ukraine. And Ukraine is a friend or an ally to NATO. All right. So we see where uh, things are leading up to this global world war, also known as uh, World War Three. And according to the scriptures, it's known as the third woe. OK, which the word woe means destruction. All right. So yeah, um, Ukraine accuses Russia of bombing Children's Hospital. Now, you know, when it comes to war, all right, there's casualties. And some of those casualties happen to be children. Okay, this is prophecy. This is, you know, the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So without further ado, I'm going to see if this is where the scripture is at. Okay, I believe it's 47. Bear with me. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 45 and 5. It says, I am Yahweh. Whenever you see Lord, all capitalized in the scriptures, that's the Heavenly Father's name. And his name is Yahweh. His name is not Jehovah. His name is not Yahweh. His name is not Yahuwah. His name is Yahweh. And it means he is, he exists. So it says, I am Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird thee, though thou hast not known me. You see, the Heavenly Father, He is the only supreme deity. When it comes to being a, a supremacy, you know, an almighty power, there's only Yahweh. Okay, He said there is no God beside Him. He actually, He's actually out there you know, and I believe there is a scripture where it says that he actually searched and he didn't find nobody else but him. Okay. There's nothing like him out there. Okay. That's the reason why he's called, you know, the omnipotent. That's the reason why he's called, you know, the almighty power. All right. Omnipotent, almighty, that's the same meaning. All powerful. Okay. There's no, there's no measuring him. Okay. He just, he just is. If, if you could even think something greater, he's already that. All right. It says, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has been with us as a nation. Okay. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. Even though right now we are serving captivity and we are being, we are punished, being punished for our, you know, transgressions. The Lord is still with us. Okay. And two thirds of our people they refuse to learn who the Lord is. They refuse to know the Lord. Here it is. You have men in the Lord out there on the highways and byways preaching this word week in and week out. And they refuse to come to the Lord. You know, they refuse to accept and believe that there is a divine almighty power. This is verse 6. It says, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So when it comes to casualty, okay, the Lord brought it. Okay. Just like the other day, yesterday, I was speaking with some woman. And she told me about a road 
where every six months to a year, somebody dies. Somebody gets put to death on that road. And she said that the last uh, thing she's heard of was a car accident, you know, where a, uh, a pole from this uh, vehicle, you know, it was an irrigation vehicle. So they carry pipes and, you know, poles and different things of that nature. Well, one of the pipes flew out from a truck that crashed and literally flew into that woman's windshield, flew through her face, her skull, and then continued, continued, Slocky, not continued, continued to fly out the back of that woman's car after she was put to death. That was the Lord. Okay, the Lord does all these things. He formed the light and created darkness. He makes peace and creates evil. Okay, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai does all things, all these things. So as I was speaking about that child, our children being casualties of war, that's just what it is. Okay, children are casualties of war. You might say, oh, those innocent kids. The scripture says nobody's innocent. Okay, we've all done wrong. And that's why we're here today. To serve out our punishment. Okay. So this is Isaiah. I want to say it's a 14. No, no, no. 13. Uh, let's see. Yeah. This is Isaiah 13. And 16. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. When shit really gets the fan, man. You know, when the Lord really unleashes all this evil. You know, because what we're going, what we're, what we're seeing right now is evil. Okay, the word evil simply means a bad time or a difficult, uh, bad situation that you're in. Well, those Ukrainians and them Russian troops are going through a bad time. Okay. You got people out there that actually love going to war. But war isn't, you know, war isn't something easy, man. Okay, war isn't just you grabbing a gun and going out there and shooting people, man. Okay, you got to you gotta endure, you know, different anxieties and it's a lot of pressure, you know. War isn't easy, you know. But there's evil taking place, you know. There's evil coming at them Russian troops and there's e evil coming at them Ukrainians, man. Why? Because it's the purpose of the Lord. Okay, the Lord is stirring up these nations for war. All right, they're going to pick, you know, they're going to pick uh, alliances, you know, different team members. They're going to click up different teams, NATO, uh, the EU, BRICS. You know, they're going to choose their allies and they're going to go to war against each other, man. That's why it says everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword in verse 15. Because once again, that's going in on you Edomites, you so-called white people. And you Edomites, all right, have funded and, and went to war with each other throughout throughout these years, man. You know, you have World War One, World War Two. Now you're going to have World War Three, And those are all Edomite nations. Yes, other nations get drafted in that are citizens of their countries. But it's mainly for Esau. That's why it says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined to them shall fall by the sword. So you Israelites out there, man, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Israelite foreigners. Uh, you better turn to the Lord and repent, you know, for your iniquity. Because you can be drafted, man. You can be drafted into this war and get put to death, you know. Or just for you uh, uh, clinging onto these devils' system, all right? So it says, everyone that is joined unto them shall shall be thrust through, shall fall by the sword. So if you, you clicked up with Esau, you think Esau's your friend, you, you appreciate uh, this system, uh, you love living here. You love living in this present world. You love being a slave. Well, you're going to get put to death, man. Okay. Their children also 
shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. And what, what's going to dash children to pieces before their parents' eyes? Different military-grade weaponry, man. Ultimately, nukes and bombs, man. Going to blow children to smithereens, man. Dash them to pieces, man. Their houses shall be spoiled because you're going to have troops. Troops running in your house, stealing your goods. And their wives ravished. The word ravished or to ravish means to rape. Okay. And that's where you get the term booty. Okay. The term booty <laughs> doesn't really mean a woman's behind. The word booty simply means spoil. Spoils of war, loot, treasure. A man's glory is a woman. A woman's glory. So when it comes to war, the treasure that you're going to find is booty. Is women. Okay. Women are going to be ravished. All right. When America gets, when America receives this, as the scripture says, America, America, Babylon the Great, is going to receive the worst. A lot of you women out here are going to get are going to get raped, get ravished. That's just that's just the truth. That's what happens when countries go to war. That's what happens when there's, you know, martial law. Because out there in a uh, in a uh, Ukraine. Um, I believe they said that they uh, they um, implemented martial law, you know, so you, pe the citizens could clear the way and leave room for the troops to fight against Russia. But what do you think? You, you, you can only imagine there being a wicked ass Ukrainian Edomite soldiers causing harm to their own people, getting away with theft and, and murder. Even upon their, even within their own country, man. That's just what happens. It's verse 17. This is the point. It says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. You had America and other countries, like Anonymous, the hacker group, saying that they were going to hack Russian banks. Like, you think that's going to stop them from their objective? They don't give a fuck about that money, that fiat. Okay, countries know real money. People know that real money. All right, when I say people, I mean like people in power, people that have understanding, wisdom, people that can see. They know that fiat currency, paper notes, is not real money. So whatever they're doing to Russia with their little cyber attacks and trying to hack their banks, Russia don't give a fuck, man. It says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. The Lord is stirring up the Medes, the Russians, against them. Right now it's against Ukraine. But soon it's going to be against NATO, EU, America. Which, in the Bible, when you read it, it doesn't say NATO, EU. It doesn't say Russia. It doesn't say Ukraine. Okay, the Bible is a secret. Okay, the Bible is a book full of secrets, mysteries. Even the Lord told the disciples, it is given unto you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto the other people, it's not for them. And we out here publish this, make it public, preach this unto you in hopes of you waking up and receiving this as well. You know, this is like a, a what do you call it? A, a, a um, SOS, you know, a flare. A flare being launched. Well, if you see the flare being launched, of course, you're going to want to find out what's up with it. You know, if you receive the message, you know, you find a little message, a little scroll in the bottle. Of course, you're going to want to break it open to see what's up. And not everybody finds that. Not everybody sees the flare. Okay, not everybody finds the little message. Locky, I got interrupted, but you know, not everybody receives a message. You know, not everybody finds that bottle. It's only for a select few. It's only for the elect. Okay, but 
Behold, I will stir up the means against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So all them bombs that the Russians are shooting, you know, missiles, rockets, okay, they're intended to hit people, kill people, blow shit up, dash the young men to pieces, okay, have no pity on the fruit of the womb, all right, it's obvious, if they bombed a children's hospital, well, that was the work of the Lord that he stirred up in the minds, the spirit of these Russians, are they going to stop there, uh, no, because prophecy is, as it reads in verse 19, and Babylon, which is America, read Revelation 18, it talks about a merchant city, they made all nations rich through trade. Okay. That is America. All right, whether you can receive it or not. America is number one when it comes to bit when it comes to consumer countries. America is number one. That means that it's making all these nations rich by buying their goods. Okay, once again, the Bible isn't plain as you read it. Okay, there isn't no seven headed beast with 10 horns are going to come out the water. That's actually talking about NATO and the EU, right? So it says, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, that's the point. All right, the Lord, his intention is to destroy America and he's going to use Russia, okay, to destroy America, Russia and other countries, its allies, but the main ones is going to be Russia, China, and Iran, going to link up to destroy this place, also, cannot forget its own allies, all right, NATO and the EU are going to have, are going to have a hand in the destruction of this place, what's coming down the pipe is World War III, this could be a start of it, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, you got NATO saying, or America saying, one or the other, we're saying that uh, if any of the NATO nations get touched, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to back up Ukraine. They're going to go in and they're going to fight against Russia. So can this be the one thing that starts it off? We'll just have to see. But yeah, Russia bombing a children's hospital. That's prophecy, man. Okay. Scripture just said it. And with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, our Kakudash. And of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders ever well at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.